Some gardens around the metro aren't looking too good these days. They're suffering from blight and other diseases. A reporter Sonia Goins goes in the garden now to show us what you can do about those problems. In this garden, we have orange peppers, basil, lavender, and some other herbs. There's nothing like fresh vegetables out of the garden, but some crops are coming up short this year. Right now, we're seeing what is uh, commonly called a late blight, which is actually a fungus that is ca uh, caused from bacteria in the soil. Blight can cause plants not to bear as much fruits and vegetables. It starts at the bottom leaves and travels up. You most often see blight on tomatoes. But it could happen to any vegetable, like this zucchini plant. That is not a healthy plant. That is showing late blight. The new leaves are fine, but the older leaves are showing the blight. And this has actually happened in about the last week. You could avoid blight by simply changing the way you water your plant. It's just something that occurs when you water and the dirt splashes up. So we do recommend if you water, water at the base with lower pressure. Our roller coaster weather this spring and summer is also stressing plants. We're seeing some dieback of like cucumbers and zucchini early because it got so hot. If you get them to a certain point and if you aren't picking them fully, they can start to go into decline. But don't give up on your garden. You can still get a bumper crop. You can still plant a lot of stuff. We're coming into a fall season too in uh, September where you can do your fall lettuce, broccoli, uh, spinach and things like that because they like cooler temperatures. For In the Garden, Sonia Goins, 12 News. And to help control that blight, you can spray it with a fungicide. It won't cure what's already there, but it will prevent it from spreading to other leaves.